Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jimmy. I'm with Tropicana Golf, and today's headline is how to move your hips in the golf swing. And it's not the way you think. Everybody has a scenario of, oh, I have to do this, or I have to do this, or I have to rotate like this. I'm gonna break it down for you. It's way, way easier than you think. Coming up right now. Okay, so what's the big secret? What's the big secret of how to move your hips in the golf swing? Everybody's got a special way of how to rotate, rotate, rotate. To me, rotate sounds like this. This is rotating my hips. The problem is, look what happens to the club when I rotate my hips. The club goes way out here, now you pull down, that's why you slice it. Or you turn and you close the face and then you hook it into the street. How about no rotation? How about keeping your hips completely quiet? That's what I'm thinking about. I turn back here, my right hand waves to the camera, I bring my arms down and I keep my lower body completely quiet. It's going to rotate. You're not gonna do this. It's impossible to hit a ball like this. You're gonna come through here and you're going to rotate, but it's not this way. You don't want the club going this way. So I think I get here, wave to the camera. From here, I just bring it down. No extra rotation. It's going to happen naturally. The same way when you throw a ball, you rotate your hips. Have you ever thought when you throw a ball, how do I rotate my hips? Absolutely not. Or hitting a tennis ball. You've never thought about that just because it happens. So when you get here, just think about coming down and keeping this quiet. The whole thing is don't think with your hips. Don't think about rotating your hips. Just think this and it will happen naturally. As soon as you start putting emphasis on rotating, you're going to hump the goose or whatever they call it. Ew, <laughs> who's that? Hey, hi, how are you? I was wondering if I could play through or play with you or something, don't be nasty. Just go ahead and play through. I don't want to play with you, but you can play through. Oh, bro, it looks like you're having so much fun. I want to play with the fun, no? Okay, let's go. Tee it up. That's you're, cool. You're, join now. I'm a single walking. You're a single with your hand. And handicap. I just put my stuff Six. on the cart, if you didn't mind. You're, you're a single, but now you jumped on my cart. Yeah, you didn't have nobody there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I'm trying to help people suck faster. Okay, I like it. If you didn't know. Anyways, my name is Manolo. Manolo, hi. Nice to meet you, Manolo. What hi. do you do here? Are you an employee? No, no, no. I just mow. Just mow. I'm not an employee. Your name is Mo, or you mow? I mow the mow, grass. Mow. Mo, oh, mow the grass. The, is it Manolo and Mo for short or? No, bro, you're, you need to take it easy, whatever okay. you're doing. So tell me what you think about in your hip rotation. I actually heard you swing. talking about the hips and I don't think anything about that at all. You don't think anything? No. So just keep them kind of quietish. And I just... think take a really good backswing, keep my sternum in front of the ball, and smack the back of the ball and keep my head down a little bit. Like that's it, I don't think about hips, really? Okay, it's peculiar. I like that. Who kind of exactly what I just said. Do people think about their hips? Yeah, there's a whole thing. How to rotate your hips oh, in the golf no. swing. Oh, that's not it. I mean, I don't know. I don't think about it. Okay, we got a par four here. Mo, Jays. It's par four. Okay. Hitting a driving iron. I like it. Yeah, this is a cool club. I like Very it. Very aristocratic. Yeah. It's a gangster club. No problems. Uh -huh. I like it a lot. Good. Hey, you're pretty good, Mo. I've been you, known to smack that shit a little bit. You play no often? I know how to smack that shit. I play some golf. <laughs> put Love it in it. play. I know in golf to put it in play. That's the most important yeah, part. Why not? You've been watching my videos, haven't you? Actually, I just met you. I never known you. <laughs> okay, so I turn back, wave to the camera, bring my arms down and keep my lower body quiet. I'm not thinking of rotating. I'm trying to actually keep them without rotating. I'm just thinking about swinging not thinking about my hips. Keep the hips quiet. Wow. Wow. Can't hit that any straighter. I like it. That's really that straight for the next person. Perfectly straight. I love it. And I think people are going to be like, oh, well, uh, you know, I'm going to lose distance. This is, I didn't lose any distance there at all. It's perfectly straight and fairly long. Don't be I nasty. can promise you this. Accuracy. Accuracy killed the cat. 
Because if you are not accurate, you can't shoot and kill the cat. You know what I mean? Wow, what do you drink? <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday. Hey, that's actually this is actually a really good tip for Friday because tomorrow you're gonna go out and play, or this weekend you're gonna go out and play if you're not under snow. And you're gonna get out there and you're gonna start thinking of rotating your hips. How about keeping your hips completely quiet this weekend? Except maybe Saturday night at the club. Oh, move them. Oh, move them. Oh, <laughs> it is a holiday. It's Maddie. not. Oh, Maddie, Maddie, look at the pelican. Fly pelican. They're on day, bro. They're on their first day. You saw it? It's Saturday night. I mean, it's Friday just, night. They were just scoping out the fountain. They're on. Oh, there's another pelican. Fly pelican. Go. Oh, oh, oh. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, there he goes. Oh. He's up the tree. He flew. Wow. A lot of nature out here at SeaWorld. Oh, it's very romantic. How did you get in my car? I told you I stole it. <laughs> Ooh, field goal. Oh, look at you. He almost kicked the field goal. Mo, that's your name, right? Mo? Yes, and Curly. Mo. <laughs> yeah. All right, Mo. What do you got here? I don't know. What does it say there? 150, 150 yards plus 10, 160. Wow, plus another 10 to a though. blue flag is 170. You're going to play this at 170 yards? Well, that's what the flag is. Doesn't mean I want to do that. Okay. Um, here's what I'll do. I'm going to cut a golf ball. So I'm going to take one more club. So I'll take a seven iron instead of an eight. And then I'm just going to hit a good controlled cut shot. That seems like the right thing to do. Hey, it sounded good. Feels right. All right. 170 yeah. yards. But you got, really, you don't want to fly it more than 160. Exactly. So a cut is going to go a lot shorter than a draw. So I'm going to take some off by hitting that shape of a shot. I mean, it's really in depth. Well, tell here. me how you hit a cut, Mo. I just don't really release the snot out of my right you hand. Hold I, on. I kind of just hold on. I just kind of come back and just kind of make square contact. All right, so let me see that on. right hand again. So a cut, you take it back in your backswing, and you come through, and you just hold, you hold on. Yeah, I just kind of. That, that's a cut swing. I hold on. Now show me a draw or like a hook type. Now something else is going to be like you come here and you are doing all this, and you turn your hand over. And now it's all turned over where your palm is facing the sky and all that. I'm trying to just keep it with it. You're going to hold on. It's like smacking a little nalgita. Like, it's like, uh, mm. like take it easy. Mm. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> it's Friday. All right. Hold on. That's what Trevino says. I just hold on for dear life. I hold on for dear life and I hit a beautiful little cut. Does he say that? Of course. There you go. Hold on for dear life. That's why he starts at 70 yards left and it comes back. He All right, Mo, don't hit me in the face with this. Uh, he was nasty. Bank shot. He was betting people with no money in his pocket. That's very Latino. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm standing on some shit. Let me get into it. Now I know. <laughs> very Latino. And go. Ready. Action. Very Latino. Okay, let's hold it up. Okay, good. Okay. It's a little short. I didn't quite hit it. It's but, all right, but it's okay. safe. I was a little, honestly, afraid of that tree kind of. Oh, I, I I, was afraid of that tree. Are you kidding me? So we'll see what happens up there. It and was a good you know swing. what? There's a little bit of wind that you didn't take into consideration either. Yeah, I'm feeling that now. But hey, keep it moving. Okay, here's mine right in the dead center of the fairway. Do you mind uh, backing that card up just Oh, a I'm touch, so sorry. Please, thank you. I know I'm new out here. Yeah. How'd you get in my card anyway? I told you, I was walking. All right, so I have 150 exactly to a back pin, which is 160. Now, I don't want to hit it 160 yards, so I'm going to take a nine iron. Mm. Uh, I'm going to take a nine iron and try to land it in the middle of the green. There's 150 right there. I have 140 plus 10 is 150. Now, I'm going back to the drawing board. Okay. A nine iron will get me one... 55 if I hit it perfect. I don't want to hit it perfect. I don't even want to get it to the pin. I want to hit it to the middle of the green, if not the front. So I'm going to take a pitching wedge and swing it smooth and hope that it gets somewhere on the green. I have no room right. The pin is right. I have more room left, so sure. I'm going to aim a little bit left, kind of almost at the bunker, and turn back and keep my hips completely still or feel like I do 
they're still going to rotate, but I'm not going to think about rotation at all. I'm just going to swing it and keep my head down. Wave to the camera. My hips Marvelous. rotated. The ball goes perfectly straight and far enough, and I'm just off the green where I'm putting no problem. Marvelously struck golfing ball. I like it. It's a pitching wedge. It wasn't enough club, but I knew it starting off. I just didn't want to get in trouble mm -hmm. by hitting one deep. And then what? I'm off the back of the green, chipping over. And you haven't done it. that. It's a whole thing. Yeah, it's not worth it. So also, now, we're finding out. You were right. There's wind up here. I can feel it. And when it's 50 some degrees, the ball doesn't travel like it does in summertime. There's a whole thing like factors. Factors play a factor. Factors play a factor. Factors play a factor. Oh, I'm even on the green. I thought I was short of the green. Yeah, yeah, you're just in the shadow. You hit a good shot. I'm trying to think, but nothing happens. All right. All right. There's yours here. here. Mm -hmm. You're just off the green, but uh -huh. nothing a little wedge can't fix. No, a little baby wedge. This guy. What did I do? Am I sorry? My putter. This guy. This guy kind of looks like you. Wow. Where'd you get that? That's uh, really cool. Look. It's, yeah, Amigdio Holy Montoya crap. from the... Wow, you killed my father prepared to <laughs> I come for revenge. All right. It's from Beauty and the Beast. I mean, Sleeping Beauty. I mean, Father of the Bride. Yeah. Keep trying. You're going to get it. <laughs> Third time's the charm. All right. What do you got here? I have a 56 degree wedge. Okay. okay. And you have 25 yards? Yeah. It looks like about that. Okay. I so like I'm just it. going to put the ball like middle back of my stance. Just come here and mm. chip and release. Come here and chip and release. Ship and release. I'm just going to ship and release. I have to hinge it, hold it, rotate the body, hinge it, hold it, rotate the body. Okay. And let's, you know, hit a good chip shot. It's the only thing I think of. I got a line, hit it over the line. I know my technique is hinge, hold, and rotate the body. That's all I'm going to try to do. Get it on the green. Yeah, Mike. Let's see if we can execution the ritmo. Good, good, and good. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Montoya. Listen. I'm listening. Make good contact, whatever. Do it right. Do a lot of good things right. Put a putter in your hand. Try and make four. Make no more than five. I think the biggest thing is people are thinking about making birdies all the time. Mm -hmm. If you can consistently putt for par, your scores are going to be great. And it doesn't take a lot to putt for par. You just have to keep the ball on the grass and another thing is you have to be mindful of where the ball is in your competitor's ball and don't step in their line but since you're new here we're not going to talk about that you know what i mean senor <laughs> i would really hope that i did not influence or affect your golf ball i did my best to stay under your line hey do you see that jacuzzi up there oh Show them the jacuzzi. Looks about yay big. Yeah. And there's people in there. It's Friday afternoon. No. They're enjoying a cold oh. beer. Valentina, it's nice to see you. So my goal is to hit it in the jacuzzi, but I don't want to make a splash. Ah. I want to just cruise I in. like it. Just cruise in. No splashing. I like it. So I'm just going to roll it, let it do its thing, and just trickle into the jacuzzi. Trickle in. Trickle in. Keep your head down and trickle it in. Let's see it. It just, oh my God. I know. You just went, you went by Valentina's elbow over there. I cannot believe how fast that was. What ha What are we putting on here? Well, the greens are quick. I was under the impression you would see more break, but it's okay. Sometimes you don't. So based off that, I'm going to play a lot more break and yeah. a lot less speed. I mean, these are really fast greens right now. Yeah, they're purest. That's all right. I still have a par putt, and if I make a bogey, I make a bogey. It's okay. not the end of the world. I have played a lot more break. I see that it's pretty quick. So let's see if we can roll one in or just get it to tap it. Okay. Tap it in. And get it to tap it. Get it to tap it. That's a great analogy. Get it to tap it. A ver. Good. Set. Go. That's fast too. 
Get it to tapping. Get it into tapping. That's good. So, great putt. Good job. Tap it in. Boom. That's it. Okay, good five. Bogies are good. It's whatever, man. It's whatever. It's whatever. It's fun. It's fine. It's good. All right. Now I know that this chance. is super fast. Let's see it. And a lot of break. Let's see it. So I'm going to show you my little method of when there's a lot of break and it's really fast. I feel that if I get closer to the club head, I can control it better. It's not so high and wobbly. So you can laugh all you want. But when I have a putt like this, I take enough break, I get here, and I get here. Way down here. Like one hand on the grip and one hand on the shaft, and I just tap it. Cochino. <laughs> I know it looks weird, but I feel it and I can control it better. But I still keep my head down. Oh, here it comes. Wait. Wait. Oh. oh. Oh, boost and boost. Oh, 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 that's pretty good. See, it works. You get down a little lower. You can feel Ooh. the weight of oh. the head oh. and do it. Ladies and gentlemen, when you go out this weekend, tomorrow, the next day, whatever it is, whenever you're watching this, remember that the hips don't lie. And if you do too much with them, your ball's going to do too much. Your swing's going to do too much. Keep it simple and keep the hips quiet. That's all I got. I hope this helps you. Uh, Mo, you got anything to say? Yeah, I'm picking up your head cover for you. That, I don't that head make cover sure might you be yours. Loose it. Looks a little bit like you. Looks a lot like mine, but this one's yours. Got it. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this helps.